Welcome to Stormwater Drainage Solutions. In today's video, we're going to be assessing this N12 dual wall storm system and try to find out and see exactly what's going on here. So basically, we have two slabs on either side of the driveway with some drains on the top of them. And we're losing a significant amount of soil and sediment here. And there are sinkholes uh, being formed around these slabs. And you can see the cracking in the concrete that's taking place. So this area is settling significantly. Basically, these drains were put in because this area in the driveway turns into a pond every time it rains. And these drains are tied into an 18-inch dual-wall culvert pipe that runs and it discharges to a stream. So you can see how much dirt and sediment is being pulled into this system. Now, when I talked with the client, he said that French drains were put in at a later date through the yard and they were tied in to this system here. And I suspect that that is the problem. They were not tied in correctly. So let's go ahead and let's put the camera down into the underground and let's try to take a look and see what's going on. So when we get down in here, you can see that this is a dual wall culvert pipe. So this is made out of HDPE, high density polyethylene plastic, and it's got a smooth interior and a corrugated exterior. Now, right here, I can already see this is one of our first problems. This is one of the French drains that the client spoke of, and you can see how that collapsed. Now, because that had collapsed, dirt and sediment is finding its way into the system every time it rains. Water is finding that opening. It's, it's following the path of least resistance, and it's going through that void. And while that water is going into the system, it is pulling dirt and sediment from above, creating the sinkhole, and we're losing ground. And it's causing the concrete obviously to settle and crack. So whenever you tie in a pipe to another drainage system, that tie-in needs to be correct. You need to use the proper tap. You need to use hydraulic cement, rubber gasket, whatever the method is, it, you need to make sure that that tie-in is correct because if not, these kind of problems are going to happen in the future. And you can see how this pipe, they basically just made a hole real quick in the side of the dual wall and they shoved a perforated corrugated pipe in there and they called it a day. And now, however many years later, we're having significant issues around both of these concrete slabs. And take a look at this one. So this one was tied in, it hasn't collapsed, but you can see around the side of that hole, I mean, there's opening there and that leads to the ground on the outside. So dirt and sediment is coming in through there. Now there's also a lot of iron ock in this system, um, but we're not gonna talk about that in this video. That's for a whole separate video, and we're actually working on that, so stay tuned for that video as well. We'll be uh, posting that one shortly. But you can see the iron ock buildup in this French drain at the bottom there, and um, so that's a, that's a whole nother issue. But basically, these French drains are going to need to be repaired on the outside. The other one that collapsed is going to need to be fixed. And they're all going to need to be tied in correctly and resealed so that this issue stops. So if you need drainage in the Tampa Bay area, give Stormwater Drainage Solutions a call at 813-614-3456. We got you covered. If you enjoyed this quick little inspection video, Give us a thumbs up. It really supports us. It supports the channel. We couldn't do it without you guys. And until next time, this is SWDS signing off.